Hey, what's going on everyone? Monado Max here, and we are back, back with another video games pickup haul video. A lot of you guys have been asking for these, and I told you guys that these videos were not going to be happening as frequently as they have been because, well, I've been saving up money and I've done a really good job. It's been almost two months since I've last done a video uh, with my game hauls. And the only reason why I have done one of these is because I bought a lot from a good friend of the channel, which we'll go into detail momentarily. But I will say with everything that we got coming up, expect these videos to be coming out every month again uh, because... I got some big purchases happening towards the end of this month, and then uh, May there's a few releases, and then too many games is happening in June, and they got Southeast Game Exchange in July. So expect a few more uh, video game haul videos coming forward. But it's time to get into this. We have a decent amount of Nintendo Switch pickups. Uh, it's all just Switch pickups, and uh, it's a lot of really cool finds, uh, and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's go ahead and show some of these games off. First up, we got, so I have these in no particular order. There's gonna be some games in here that's like, did that come out in February? The, the order's gonna be re weird, so yeah. Uh, I got Bayonetta Origins. <laughs> Bought this game because nobody was gonna buy this game. And I saw it as an opportunity of, hmm, I should do an ultimate unboxing video on this game. And maybe the video would perform crazy numbers since nobody's buying the game. Well, that was a failed investment because nobody watched that unboxing video. It was one of our worst performing unboxing videos yet, but that's okay. I did not play the game because I'm still playing the Bayonetta series. This game should not be 60 bucks. This might be a rare Switch title. I don't know. This is a weird release. The game nobody bought because it was $60. This game wasn't even in the top 30 best selling eShop games. I pay attention to that a lot because I'm curious and this was not on there. So. This is probably going to end up being a valuable game. I don't know. We'll definitely see. Be careful with that one. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Uh, this is one I haven't played yet, but I am going to be streaming this on my Twitch. Uh, I'm going to have my editor, Coleman, put the link right here. The text. Twitch.tv slash TV. Join the Twitch if you guys have not been a part of the Twitch yet. That is where I am streaming. This is going to be a game that we're going to be streaming on the Twitch. I'm probably going to stream my whole playthrough of this game, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool cover. I really like how I got a free poster for buying this game. I don't have the poster here, I'm not going to pull it out, but it's a really cool poster. Then we got probably one of the most surprising releases of 2023, except not really that surprising. It was just surprising that it was a shadow drop with a physical copy happening two weeks later and that's metroid prime remastered how this game has been extremely fun i've also been streaming this game a lot this game is beautiful this remaster is absolutely beautiful i can't wait for whatever other gamecube remasters that we got going because there's a lot of rumors of them zero uh they're probably going to continue to re-release the metroid prime series on switch uh and now there's that rumor of paper mario coming to the switch f-zero those games are going to be great on this whole remaster thing that they got going with gamecube games uh, but overall very fun very surprised that this was kind of a harder physical copy to get. Uh, I think now it's kind of pretty common to find, but yeah, Metro Prime Remastered. If you guys did not pick this game up yet, pick it up. Very fun game, loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right, so now we're going into why I have so many Nintendo Switch games. You know what, no, 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 we're gonna save that. We're gonna show you guys the little odd ends items that I bought that are gaming related. So I got my female corn amiibo. I actually need to unbox this. I don't keep amiibos in box. Uh, but I finally got it. I am now one amiibo away from a complete Super Smash Bros. set. It's Gold Mega Man. You guys want to sell me a Gold Mega Man? Fair price. My email, bananamax at gmail.com. My DMs are open on Twitter and Instagram. Please, I need Gold Mega Man. Oh my god, if I can complete my Smash Bros. set this year, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. And then I got this right here, which we're getting a video review soon. I don't know if the video review already came out by the time this video comes out because our videos are way ahead pre-recorded. So yeah, I got this right here. It is a GameCube controller, fan-made GameCube controller, but in a, uh, it works for the Nintendo Switch. You can use it as Joy-Cons too. Uh, I have a lot to say about this controller. You guys need to watch my video review that I am making. It's gonna be a really special video because I'm editing it and I'm doing a lot of work for that video. It's gonna be great. Can't wait for that video to come out. 
Now we're getting into like the goodies, the, the why I bought so many Switch games recently. Uh, so, a good friend of the channel, Phoenix Resell, was doing a Switch live stream of auctioning off some Nintendo Switch games. If you guys don't remember, I bought most of his uh, personal collection that he sold to start his Mission Switch series. I get another one. This one isn't his personal collection, right? but it was a bunch of super rare games. That's the company. Uh, that, you know, does physical copies of games that didn't get a physical release. Um, they're basically the UK version of Limited Run Games. And he had a lot of the super rare games that I've been wanting for my Switch, but I've never seen in person or just, like, I've never been able to buy it from somebody that I knew or seen these games in person. A lot of times when I'm at conventions, I see other super rare games and, uh, I think now I own all the super rare games that I want in my collection, so that's pretty cool. Uh, unless I'm forgetting something, because there were some releases I didn't realize actually they did. Got some really cool games, but I bought so much from Phoenix Riso that he threw in a free game. He threw in, he graciously threw in Harvest Moon Light of Hope. Uh, you know, I know the Harvest Moon Switch games have not been great, but hey, I will take any free Switch game. Caleb, thank you very much. This is definitely going in the collection. Uh, you can literally see me put it up right now. Look at that. Look at that. It's part of the I bought that from Phoenix Resale too. I, I have a lot of things over here that I bought from him. Oof, I bought too much from him. Money! All right, let's get into this. Um, this is one, ah, dude, this is where I'm like, I'm in a bad position. I really want to play this game. Abzu is a game that I have always been very interested in. I know this game, I think at one point was a PlayStation exclusive. Um, Cause I knew PlayStation funded some indie games out there or did like a one year exclusive uh, exclusive deal. This is one that has always fancied, like I've, I've always been interested in this type of game. I, I know you're underwater, you're exploring the world underwater it, it's open it's not open world but it's a 3d game yeah now i'm like it's sealed it's in this nice super rare plastic opening am i ruining the value by opening but i really want to play it it looks really nice in this plastic ceiling gonna be playing this game very soon this is one i'm definitely opening up because i i just i have to i have to do it. but uh i don't remember what i paid for it i know i got a decent deal though uh because all this stuff I wouldn't have bought if I didn't get a chance to buy it at a lower rate than eBay sold listings. So keep that in mind. Uh, I know a lot of people, when I've said in the past, at least on my live streams, I don't know if my viewers feel this way. I just know my live stream audience feel this way. I've talked about how I've bought a lot from other people, such as Phoenix Resale, and everyone's like, oh, you got scammed. There's no way you were able to get good deals from Phoenix Resale. No. he. Well, obviously, what, he doesn't set the prices of stuff. It's an auction, so people are paying what they want to pay. Like, I, I don't buy stuff that's the same exact sold listing. I like to go under the value. So all the stuff that you guys see here, I did pay under value because I was watching the stream and I had the uh, price charting, eBay sold listings right in front of me as I was bidding on these games. So I wanted to throw that in there. This one is called Rokey, I believe. This one, I have never seen a holographic Switch game like this, where even the slip cover is holographic. I have seen the holographic Switch games, but never holographic slip covers. And I was like, I know absolutely nothing about this game. This is one of those that I probably shouldn't have bought because I know nothing about this. I do remember I got this for, I think it was $37. And that's when I when I saw it was going for such a low rate on the stream, I was like, I don't need this, but this is a really good deal. I basically got that game half off. So I was really happy about that. Smoke and Sacrifice. This I thought was one of their first uh, games that's uh, super rare games made, but you can tell it's an earlier project with, uh, or actually, never mind. I was about to say something so stupid. I'm so glad I didn't finish saying what I was gonna say. Uh, but this is one that I've always seen in people's collections. I know nothing about that. This is also something I like about Switch collecting. I've said this all the time. You can go to the Nintendo Switch game aisle in any store and find something that you've never heard of or seen have a physical copy on any other platform. And uh, the Switch just has, obviously that doesn't mean it's good games, but it has such a variety of just random good games from indie titles, first party titles, third party titles, 
and I, this is what I like. I don't know anything about Smoke and Sacrifice. I know this is a game that was talked about a lot with Super Rare games. My, my one gripe about this Super Rare sealing, because it's, yeah, it's like a, the game is still sealed inside. What's the point of a double seal like this? This bag? Oh, is it, it's because it comes with all these goodies and stuff. That's why. Anyways, we have this part of the collection. This is one that I probably, again, these two probably shouldn't have bought. There's another one in here that I shouldn't have bought because the, these three were kind of like impulse, or you're about to see the third one soon. Kind of an impulse buy because I had the price charting in eBay. I would not recommend doing that if you guys are trying to save money because if you see opportunities to buy games for lower rates, you end up buying more than what you actually want to buy. So this is not one that I am very, very, very excited for because this is one that was talked about a lot during the Wii U days. We got Little Inferno here. Uh, it's one of those big uh, versions of the game that come with the steelbook. Same with Abzu. That one came with the steelbook too. Uh, you can't see it, but it comes with the game and steelbook. I love collector's editions that come with both the game and steelbook. I don't like when games are, you know, both the physical and or just, just the steelbook. Because I don't like steelbooks. But I don't mind steelbooks if they come with the original cover. And the reason why I don't like steelbooks, look at this. All these games, most of these on these shelves, because there, there are some steelbooks, you guys can't see it, but there's a few steelbooks on uh, this row. All these have that regular red switch uh, spine to the covers. Where steelbooks, they look off. If you have a steelbook, let's say just say I have a steelbook right here. I don't know if Coleman's gonna show it, but right here in the middle of my uh, shelf here, it's gonna look awkward with all this uh, red that I got going on. Right? Same with, you know, PlayStation. That's how I feel about any steelbook. Uh, it throws off what you already have. Steelbooks are great if all the games you were buying were steelbooks. It's how I would feel if all these games are steelbooks, and then all of a sudden, I have one regular Switch game that's just... Am I making sense? That's why I've never been a fan of steelbooks, and I, I don't really understand the hype behind steelbooks, because people are like, oh, it looks so great on the shelf, it looks great in the collection, and I'm just like... But it looks off with the other Switch games. That, that That's how I look at that. But anyways... Little Inferno was talked about a lot during the Wii U days, but during the Wii U days, I didn't buy many digital games uh, just because I was broke in the Wii U era. Um, the only indie game that I think I played on my Wii U was Shovel Knight, and uh, Little Inferno was talked about heavily towards me. So now that I have this game, I didn't even know it came to the Switch, to be honest with you. So when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. All right, we got Graceful Explosion Mission. Uh, now this is one that, this is the third game that I was like, I shouldn't have bought, uh, but <laughs> this game, this game. Okay, all right, this game was described to me as a 2D shooter. Uh, basically, Galaga, if it was a moving level, but in 2D form, where you're shooting on the right side. I don't know what you call those games. I don't have any of those type of games on my Nintendo Switch. And this is, the, the, those type of games are, that, that's what I'm looking for on my Switch. I want a game like that. And uh, the reviews of this game was very positive. And I think I only paid 25 bucks. So for 25 bucks for a super rare game, pretty good deal. Cause most of the super rare games are about 50 to 60 bucks. So, I felt like that was a good deal, and I think this game goes for about 40 so I think if I, I don't remember what I paid, but if I paid $25, I think I did it myself pretty well. All right, the next one is Dog World. This is a rogue game that apparently your character is a dog, and the character's name is Daddy, and you're going around uh, killing things, <laughs> and your character's name is Daddy. And um, <laughs> I don't know, the commercial, Sometimes Phoenix Resell Caleb, he, he will uh, he'll hype these games up, and as he was telling me, or he was, he was telling the audience the, the stream about this game, I was like, this sounds like an interesting game. I have to play this because this is something that seems like it would be great on stream. So uh, uh, it's a part of the collection now. I think this was the most expensive game that I bought. I don't remember how much, but I believe this was the most expensive one that I bought. Okay, this is another uh, big collection one where it comes with uh, Steelbook and the game. We got World of Goo. This is a game that I didn't know came to the Switch. Uh, this is one I, that once I found out was on the Switch, I won it. 
uh, because I played this on the PC as a little kid uh, when, I, I was, when I was homeschooled. There would be a lot of homeschool outings in a library. This library had a, uh, a gaming, or not a gaming computer, but it was a computer that had games on it. And World of Goo was on there, and I was always like fascinated by World of Goo. Never realized they got a console release. Uh, to me, that's like the craziest thing ever that this game, it's on a console let alone a physical copy uh but yeah got it very happy to have this in the collection especially considering my history with world of goo yeah that, that i'm still just mind blown by the fact that there is a switch release of that okay this is one this is the one that i was after uh this is the one that i knew i i needed it i needed this game uh this was this is our last switch pickup uh, this was the one that I was most excited about having in the collection, that and Abzu. We have Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Now, you guys have played It Takes Two, or A Way Out. The person that made that game, the iconic guy that uh, was drunk during the Game Awards with his speech. Uh, I don't, Coleman, do not play it. I know Coleman's going to be very tempted to show footage of this guy doing what he did at the Game Awards, but we are a friendly family friendly channel so Trent Coleman do not do it I know you're tempted I, I know I know you're over there like hmm I could you know <laughs> I could put the, the footage and Max won't watch the video but you know what Coleman I'm gonna watch this video and I'm gonna see what you're gonna do in this scenario so think wisely what you're about to do this is like a telltale choice Coleman your choices have consequences uh, that guy made this game this was his I believe one of his first games uh, this came out before the uh, A Way Out and Takes Two. So this is one of his first games, Brothers, and I think it follows the same pattern of uh, two players, but you can play it with one player. Anyways, I'm definitely gonna be playing this because I'm a big fan of that guy's work after playing A Way Out. And I have It Takes Two over there that I'm supposed to be playing with somebody eventually. I wanna play that guy's games because I think he's a really good developer after playing A Way Out. That was such an amazing game. and such a creative game. Uh, the whole, Eating to have two players it was just it was really fun i actually played that with coleman uh he was the guy that i played a way out with it was very fun very fun well guys that is it for all my gaming pickups i want to know what your guys's gaming pickups and what your favorite pickup was of mine and obviously you know i know i'm going to be titling this video somehow with super rare games so i want to know what super rare nintendo switch games do you own because i know they're you've done so many releases um Let's see, they're, they're numbered releases on the side over here. So I'm looking to see what I got. So there's a number 59. So they've done many games. And I know I have this one right here, uh, last day of June. This is a very interesting game. I, and I know these ones are truly limited games. Uh, I believe each release of this game is only 5,000 copies. I might be wrong about that, uh, but I believe each Physical copy is uh, 5,000 releases. Anyways, I've been talking for way too much. Uh, big thanks to Phoenix Resell. Uh, if I remember, we're gonna put him in the description of this video, but I'm probably gonna forget. So, Coleman, throw his channel right here. I do want you guys to check him out because uh, he threw in a bunch of goodies in this box of me buying the stuff. And he's just a good guy, very good guy. So definitely check him out. Even though he's already got plenty of people checking him out we're probably only gonna add like two people to his channel still check him out still check him out all right i've been talking for way too much make sure to check out the twitter instagram twitch the tiktok we got a tiktok now my my boy jackson is working really hard on the tiktok so go follow it he would appreciate it and uh, i will see you guys in the next video have yourselves an amazing one and i will see you guys in the next video peace